A lot of you guys have had some questions about how to become a certified DaVinci Resolve trainer. Recently, I got my certification. I posted a post about it. A lot of you guys congratulated me. Thank you guys for uh, you know all the love and support you guys give me over the years here. I was just excited to finally become an official certified trainer for Blackmagic Design for DaVinci Resolve. So I got a lot of questions on like, what's the process? Like, how did you do that? What do I have to do? Where do I find the information? Um, a lot of you guys were kind of curious about it. Some of you guys have been teaching people at your companies and you know, maybe it would be good to have that, that certification. So I just figured we'll make a little video here. I'll tell you about the process that I went through and how I got my trainer certificate from Blackmagic Design. So the first thing that you have to do is go through some of the training that's available on the Blackmagic Design website. If you're looking to learn, you know, any part of DaVinci Resolve, whether it's, you know, any tab, right? Color, edit, fusion, uh, Fairlight, whatever it is, Blackmagic Design has an awesome set of uh, training that's already on their website. So let's just take a look on the computer here. This is their website right here, and I'll post the link in the description below so you can check it out. Uh, just jump over there really easy. But this is the official Blackmagic Design training. So you've got a couple different things here. You got user certified and you have a trainer certification. So if you just look through the different videos here, it's broken down into different sections. You can learn through, you know, different lessons here one by one if you want. Or what you can do is come on down to the training books right here. You can download the PDF. It's free. Download the lesson files. Go through, learn uh, what you can about each one of these, uh, you know, different topics. You've got the beginner's guide to DaVinci Resolve 18. You've got uh, the editor's guide, Fairlight color guide, visual effects guide, and all these you can go through at your own pace or if you keep an eye out for when Blackmagic has some of their training uh, online, they do that probably, I think, I want to say it's like twice a year or so. Uh, they'll offer online training where it's about a week long, maybe a couple hours a day. You can jump on there and uh, learn, you know, any one of these particular things. You just have to sign up uh, and keep an eye out on when those things come up so that you can sign up for it. And then you'll get an email with Zoom links and, and all that kind of stuff. And it's all live. So you can go through and they essentially go through the book. And it's really helpful to watch that and just see what they do, how they do it, um, and then also have the book available so that you can go through the book a little bit and just kind of follow along. And if you need to go back and reference anything, you just go back to the book, right? You're going to have the PDF of it. If you wanted to buy it on Amazon, you could buy it. But I would just say get the PDF. That's probably going to be good enough for you. Once you go through either the Blackmagic course or you've read through the book enough and you feel like you got a good grasp on it, you can take the exam for that particular section. So if we look at the, the training here, the exams are right here. You can just access it right from their website online here. So in order to become a certified trainer for DaVinci Resolve, you first have to pass the user exams, right? And you don't have to do all of them. But in for me, what I did was I did the beginner's guide to DaVinci Resolve. I passed that user exam. I also did the Fairlight audio guide as the audio guy, I got to do Fairlight, right? So I took that course, and I completed the user exam for that as well. And then once I completed those two, I reached out to Blackmagic and I said, hey, what do I have to do to become you know, a certified trainer? Because I know there's certified trainers out there. And since I'm teaching you guys, I wanna get the qualifications that I can to be able to be a certified trainer and just give you guys the best information that I can. So once you've completed those exams and you've got the user certifications, on the same website here, if you scroll down towards the bottom of the page, you can look at this part right here, become a Black Magic Design Certified Trainer. So you can email them right here to find out more information. And the process that you would go through once you have your user certifications is to reach out to Black Magic. They're gonna get back to you. They're gonna give you a, another course that's called Train the Trainer. And you're going to go through that course. It's um, a couple lessons of, you know, a few hours per lesson of kind of going through a bunch of the, in my case, the beginner's guide and just kind of taking it a step further. So how might you do things when you're teaching DaVinci Resolve? So you learn the basics, but then you also learn how to kind of teach Resolve a little bit better, right? How do I get the concepts across to you? How do I show you the things that in this case for the beginner's guide, how do I show you the things that, 
you know, will allow you to get editing in DaVinci Resolve, but not get you too far in the weeds where you, it's just confusing for a beginner, right? So you watch those, and then you have another exam that you have to take that's very similar in my case to the beginner's guide that you could take right on their website. It's just a little bit longer. Um, the, the tests are all timed. You've got about an hour. And uh, I think the train the trainer uh, exam for becoming trainer certified, I think you get, you get an hour. And I think the other ones you get an hour as well. Um, but you can use your book. You can look in the, uh, the, the manual there if you want, if you have time. You go through the test, you answer the questions, and then it's going to give you a score right at the end. You have to meet a certain score in order to be considered passing. Uh, in my case, for the train the trainer, it was an 85. So I beat that. And, uh, and then the other thing that you have to do is once you pass that test, you also have to do a presentation because they want to know, like, make sure that, okay, you can present the material well, you come across as coherent, you make sense. And, you know, for somebody like me who makes YouTube videos all the time, it's really not a big deal. I just looked at a lesson from the book, pick something out, and you've got, I think, between like five-ish minutes, give or take a little, to teach something. So I picked something out of the book there and uh, taught a quick, quick lesson on it. Five minutes is like nothing when you're trying to, you know, teach any part of DaVinci Resolve, right? So I did that. You send that to Blackmagic Design, they, they take a look at it. Sometimes you do it live, and sometimes you record the video, but with, like, no cuts, right? It's got to be a straight recording, kind of like I'm doing this. I'm not really cutting this up much. It's just straight recording through just chatting with you guys. So your training session that you do, uh, or your presentation that you do, is just got to be straight through, no cuts or anything like that, just so they can give you some feedback on, you know, your training style, what you're saying, the terms you're using, how you're kind of, you know, teaching the material, um, so it, it took a long time for me to go through all that stuff more so because not because it was difficult, but just because my schedule is crazy and to consistently go through, you know, the amount of videos or the lessons to prepare to take the test. Uh, it just took me a while. Um, you know, I find that for me, I'm not a good test taker. Uh, don't like, and don't like taking tests, you know, and I'm sure you lot of you guys are the same way, but they don't really try and trick you with these exams here for DaVinci Resolve. Most of the questions are pretty straightforward. I do got to say there was a few that were a little tricky, a few that I was like, eh, so I didn't get a hundred on, on any of the tests, but, um, but I did do fairly well. And if you're in Resolve a lot, you're going to know most of the stuff, but you do need to kind of look at the manual or the, the training books because there's certain things that they want you to know that are uh, that are in the books that maybe you don't use every day or you know maybe you're you you might confuse the term for something uh, so that's the the parts that might be a little bit tricky as you're kind of going through all the tests and, and and that kind of stuff but overall I mean the process was really smooth everybody at black magic was really helpful and they they want you to succeed they want you to be able to pass these tests they want you to learn the material uh, there's there's no pressure it's just kind of like you know if when you can do it you do it um and even after receiving the the train the trainer certificate so i'm certified to train i have two user certifications um I'm, i want to continue to do more of it right we've got all the different tabs you've got different certifications you can be trainer certified in different areas of resolve and i figure you know what why not just keep kind of going through this stuff because one it helps me learn it better so that i can teach you guys better and two i mean might as well get some qualifications, learn more. Because if we don't keep learning, right, it kind of gets a little boring, you know. So I went to college for other stuff, but I didn't go to school for video editing, design, DaVinci Resolve or any of that. So Blackmagic has great resources to help me learn that, as well as our other friends here on YouTube. Tons of great stuff out there from, from everybody that we know uh, in the DaVinci Resolve area and realm out there on YouTube. Great stuff, you know, great stuff. But overall, if you're interested in taking some of the training, from Blackmagic Design's website or becoming a certified trainer, I would encourage you jump in there, try it out, learn it, look at the books. You can even look at the books before you sign up for a class, see if it makes sense and uh, see if you're able to work through some of the examples. Just give yourself time. Don't. There's no pressure to get it done fast, but I would recommend getting in there and doing it, learning new things. I mean, even as long as I've been in Resolve and teaching here on YouTube, there's so much stuff that I learned just going through, you know, the beginner class even. There's just an unlimited amount of information I feel like here in DaVinci Resolve that, that you can use and, and that, or that you can learn, I should say, that you can learn and then use. 
and that I can teach you guys. So, so that's kind of the process uh, that I went through. And uh, you know, if you are interested in doing it, definitely jump on there, check it out. I'll leave a link to Black Magic uh, Designs training down below. You check that out, and um, yeah, if you got questions on the process, feel free to ask me. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. But if you want to become certified user or trainer, definitely uh, check out the training from Black Magic. So. DaVinci Resolve is awesome. The program is so deep. I don't know if there's anybody who knows all of it. People know their, their, their part, right? But there's so much going on there that we can all constantly learn new stuff. So with that said, it was good hanging out for a little bit. I think I might go refill my cup of coffee here because uh, it's empty anyway. So I'm gonna go get me some coffee and I will see you in the next video. Peace.